Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother 18 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Brandon Alexander. What's up, Brandon? Thanks so much for your support. And if you guys want to be house guests of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Okay, so there was some drama yesterday, guys. There was some drama. A lot of it was um, involving the showmances, but there was some other stuff too. So first of all, Michelle was upset with James, and they had a little tiff. Uh, they were arguing in the safari room. Michelle, we know, has a bit of a mean streak, and we know that she does not like Bridget, obviously, or Tiffany. Um, but, you know, Tiffany, she's really down in the dumps this week. Like, nobody's talking to her. It's really sad. And Michelle is one of those people that's just like, we should not talk to Tiffany. Everyone shun her. So she's upset because I guess James called her mean for not talking to Tiffany. And Michelle's like, you know what? Tiffany freaking betrayed us. I don't want to be around her. Like, I should be able to do what I want to do. Uh, so then she's like, Day and I were lit literally crying last week about Tiffany potentially going home. We saved her butt. And now this week she's campaigning for Day to go home. Like, that's so messed up. And James is like, well, I'm just not going to shun someone. I'm a nice person. That's mean. And he's like, Michelle, I hope you don't find yourself in a situation one day where people are shunning you. And she was just like, well, it's not going to happen because I'm not going to betray people. And he's like, well, that's not how it works. Like, even if you don't betray someone, if you're up on the block and you're potentially going home, like, people are not going to talk to you. So she's just like, well, whatever. So she's like... Um, just don't give her the time of day when she's trying to save herself with like all the campaigning nonsense. And then Michelle says, Tiffany is just a knockoff of her sister who can't play Big Brother. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. <laughs> so Jay I know puppy. So James keeps telling her, like, don't worry, Tiffany's going this week, like, just friggin' give it a rest. So they apologize to each other, and then like five seconds later, they're fine. So James and Michelle are outside by the hammock chatting with Nicole, and James is just like, I need some girl advice, because <laughs> Natalie's being weird, she's avoiding him, and he's just like, why is she being so weird? Like, what's the deal with that? It was a real, what's up, what's up, what's up? What's up? So Nicole's like, maybe she's being weird because you're being weird. And then she brings up like, I've seen um, Natalie hanging out with like a lot of the other guys in the house. And it's like not cool. Like she's not allowed to hurt you. So then Nicole and Michelle are just bringing up like every interaction that Natalie's ever had with any of the other guys in the house. I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. But they're telling James like she's going around flirting with everyone. So you need to be careful. We don't want to see you get hurt. So James is just like, yeah, I'm going to like pull back or whatever because like I don't want to, you know, it, it stings my, my heart. So then this is a little off topic, but they're talking about how Zakia is like planning that birthday party for her freaking stuffed giraffe. And James is like, I think it's kind of messed up that they're making this birthday cake for this stuffed giraffe, Raffi, uh, but they didn't make one for Nicole or Bridget. Like what's the deal with that? It is kind of petty. I don't know. Um, but Nicole's like, well, it doesn't bug me at all. Like, my birthday was on an eviction day, and it was all crazy and everything. But, like, they didn't do anything for Bridget's birthday. It was, like, weird. Um, okay. So then James goes and confronts Natalie about the weirdness. And after a while, she finally admits that she was upset because that morning uh, she asked him if he wanted breakfast, and instead of just being like, no, thank you, he was like, no, I'm a grown man, and I can cook for myself, and she didn't like that, <laughs> even if it was a joke, she didn't like it, uh, and then James, like, asked Nicole to cuddle with him in the bumper car, I'm thinking it was a joke, but she didn't like that either, <laughs> so then James is like, well, I keep hearing that you're like, rubbing Polly's legs and like you were rubbing Paul's back. Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Guys, I went to journalism school. Um, but then <laughs> Natalie is like, well, um, that's like not that weird. Like everybody touches everybody in this house. And she says there's a double standard in this house with the flirting and he flirts with everyone. So why is it okay if he does that, but she can't. And uh, he really hurt her feelings. 
we'll come back to those two. Meanwhile, we've got Bridget and Tiffany, Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany comparing notes. Um, first, they were talking about the game, but then they moved on to like personal non-game related things they were telling each other all the mean things that people have said about them behind their backs so Bridget's like I just want to let you know that like pretty much everyone is really weirded out by you wearing your sunglasses in the house and Tiffany's like wait what everybody like even Michelle poor Tiffany thought that she was like so close with Michelle and Bridget is just like She's freaking tearing that down. <laughs> so she's she's raining on that parade. Um, and she's like, yeah, pretty much everyone has talked crap about you except for myself, Natalie, Bronte, and James. Ouch. So then Tiffany's like, all right, well, you want to know what everybody says about you? Pretty much all of these people are saying that you're fake. They don't believe that you're really like that sweet, bubbly personality. Uh, and she says Michelle and Day are like the worst with the crap talk. Um, um. All right, and then they go on to talk crap about everybody else. So back to James and Natalie. Uh, again, they're talking about the tension between the two of them. This time they're in the have not room, and Natalie's like, I just feel stupid because I opened up to you so much. Uh, I should have never started liking you. Uh, it's more of the same stuff from earlier, talking about their jealousy issues and stuff. Uh, and James is like, well, I wasn't sure if you actually like me, like, like me, like me, or <laughs> if you're flirting with everyone and I'm just like an idiot. And she's like, I don't flirt with everyone. Uh, and she said she thought it was obvious how she feels. Whoa. So then they, you know, they talk for a while. I mean, this conversation went on for at least an hour. I think it was over an hour. Uh, but they work things out eventually and then they end up sharing a bumper car again so it looks like everything's all good in Natalie and Jamesville um, but Natalie's like don't hurt my feelings again and come talk to me directly if there's ever a problem moving on <laughs> back to the game Day is trying to do some damage control right now she doesn't seem to think that she's in too much danger this week which I think she should be concerned but she is more concerned with next week so she's talking to Polly on the hammock and Oh, this is funny. Paul tries to join in on their conversation. He, like, bellies up to the hammock, and they're just like, no, get out of here. Like, go talk to those people. <laughs> we need some time alone, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, but anyway, Polly is like, yeah, Tiffany was talking to me about that five-person alliance again, and she said that she heard about it from you. First of all, that's true. Second, <laughs> I wish they had freaking made up a name for this damn five-person alliance because I'm so sick of being like, the five-person alliance that Polly came up with that includes Polly, Zakia, Nicole, hey, uh, Hayden, he's not on this season, Corey, and Davon. Maybe we should just go ahead and call it like the fifth wheel or something. But anyway, Polly's like, I denied it with Tiffany, but like, what's the deal with that? So Day is like, oh man, uh, Tiffany must have overheard it when I was talking about it with Zakia and Nicole. <laughs> yeah, she overheard it. Okay, so she was talking about how she was nervous, kind of being the fifth wheel with two showmances, and Tiffany just, you know, she had that cup against the wall or something, I don't know. Which, I mean, she has done before, but I don't think Polly's buying that excuse. Maybe he is, I don't know. <laughs> But Polly was like, yeah, this is just like last season when Vanessa used to like piece things together and then she would like go to people with information and act like it was true but it was just something she was assuming and then she would like get the actual information out of them. Yeah, Polly, it's exactly like that. Alright, so then meanwhile, Nicole and Zakia were also chatting outside. They were talking about Day. And they feel like Day has betrayed them. They were so close to her a few weeks ago, and now they're not. Um, so Nicole believes for sure that Day told Tiffany to nominate Corey with the roadkill this week. She's like, that is definite, yes. And she's like, it's definitely possible that Day was the one that told Tiffany about the Alliance of Five. Um, she did. But anyway, they're not totally sure on that, but they're saying it makes a lot of sense. Um... But then they move on to talk about how they feel really good moving forward about the two of them, Corey and Polly, working together. And wouldn't it be great if they, like, married their showmances and then they were all best friends forever? Yeah. 
Okay, so then, <laughs> back to the game again. Uh, Frank continues his campaigning for Tiffany to stay this week. It's pretty much the same arguments that we've been hearing from him already. But he was talking to Michelle, and he was like, I think I've got the votes to take out Day, but I really want to push this over the edge, make it like a 7-1 to one vote or something. Um, but he's saying he's got, like, Paul's vote. No. <laughs> I don't know if Frank actually believes that he has the votes, or if he's just saying that to get the votes. It's tough to tell right now. I feel like he thinks he has the votes. Um, he needs to wake up. So then he was talking to Polly about it, and he's just pushing to Polly. If Day wins HOH next week, she's going to go after you, uh, whereas Tiffany would not. But you know what? Neither Michelle nor Polly seemed very receptive to keeping Tiffany this week. Alright, so now it's time for Raffi's birthday party. So the house gets all gathered to sing happy birthday to the stuffed animal. And they bring in their stuffed animals for the party and they put like foil birthday hats on them. And it's like kind of cute. But then like the saddest thing I've ever seen happens. So Tiffany is looking for her gorilla to bring to the party. And she can't find him anywhere. Because Day hid it. That is so sad. She was just looking around for it, and it's just like one of those things that like really, it hurt me to watch that. Um, and she's just like, oh, these people suck. Like somebody hid my gorilla, blah, blah, blah. It was sad. Eventually Bridget found it, but it was just too late for the party. So then Frank and Nicole, right, it's really sad. It's like really sad. So then Frank and Nicole were chatting about this week's vote. I can't get over it. I'm laughing so I don't cry. So they were chatting about this week's vote and Nicole was like, I'm still on board to vote out day if the other votes are still there. Uh, so Frank is like, yeah, we're gonna have the votes. Me, you, Bridget, James, Paul, 100%. Again, he's like, Paul, 100%. But we know that Paul is playing both sides. I don't think that Frank fully realizes that. I think he suspects it, but I... I think he thinks that he's got Paul. Nope. So then Nicole is like, awesome. We'll have to, you know, confer again when it gets closer, make sure we actually have these votes before we go through with this. And she agrees to help him work on Michelle because Michelle's still all like, no, Tiffany. Whoa. <laughs> all right, so last night, I mean, after all of that, there wasn't anything too groundbreaking. You got the two sides talking crap about each other. There was a lot of that. And then there was some, like, more uh, undercover stuff going on with Nicole and Corey. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. I just don't want, like, I don't want to go there. All right. So this morning, Paul and Polly had a little game chat in the HOH room. And they were talking about the guy-girl numbers. And they're saying after this week, they'll have six girls, five guys. And they're like, yeah, it's really evening out now. Uh, and they were talking about how great it would be to have a final four, all guys, of Paul, Polly, Corey, and James. All right. <laughs> so Paul is like, I don't know, Corey and Nicole are getting pretty close. Is he gonna be ready to cut Nicole when the time comes? And Polly's just like, if he knows, uh, if he wants to get that money, then yeah. So then <laughs> they're talking about their next few targets and they agree they wanna get rid of Frank, Bridget, and Day. I don't know if that was the exact order, but those are their next targets. I guess it depends on who wins competitions and stuff. So then Day and James had a game chat today, and Day is like, uh, those freaking showmances are getting serious. I hear them talking about, like, this could be my true love and stuff like that. And she's like, Nicole is freaking gone. Seriously, though, Nicole has left the building. I don't... It's not good. She's totally, I feel like, given up on the game. She is, she's getting married to this guy, or I don't know. <laughs> but she is not playing this game right now. So Day is like, we need to break those showmances up. And James is like, oh, but I'm in a showmance with Natalie. <laughs> and Day is like, yeah, but nobody freaking cares about you two. Like, nobody's worried about you. We got to split up Nicole and Corey and Zakia and Polly because that's getting out of control. All right, so in other news, a piece of the departures sign fell. <laughs> that house is falling apart. Uh, so they had to fix that. Also, Polly got the HOH camera today. Worth mentioning because Zekia was getting pissed off because Natalie asked to take a picture with Polly, and Zakia was just like, Pfft. 
and <laughs> she was so freaking jealous and Nicole's like yeah Natalie keeps telling Corey he's sexy what's the deal with that so they were talking to James about it James is just like who cares <laughs> a freaking men James amen <laughs> all right so that's where we're at right now let me know what you guys think in the comments I feel like these showmances are getting a little out of control what do you think and until tomorrow much love